Hey guys, my name is Zach, and welcome to <laughs> Liposuction Surgery Simulator. Now, it is exactly how it sounds. Liposuction, if you don't know, is someone who's got a little bit of belly of the jelly, and they want to get rid of it. I personally don't know why someone would want to get rid of it, unless they were dying and they had to. It's like, hey get liposuction or I'm gonna shoot you in the face that would mean they have to their health was at risk anyways let's just get into it welcome to surgery squads virtual abdominal liposuction I'm dr. Susie and I'll be assisting you with this surgery today all right liposuction is a minimally invasive surgical procedure that is used to remove fat deposits from various areas of the body the areas that liposuction is generally performed are the abdomen, hips, right. inner and outer thighs, yes. flanks or love handles, flanks? and inner arms. Isn't that a type of state? Today we'll be using the tumescent technique to remove fat deposits from our patient's abdomen. The word tumescent means swollen and firm, and with this technique we'll be injecting such a large volume of the fluid into the fat deposits right. that our patient's abdomen literally becomes tumescent. After injecting the that fluid, we'll be using healthy. a hollow metal tube called a cannula to break up and essentially vacuum fat deposits out of the body. Before we begin, that remember that liposuction dangerous. is not an alternative to diet and exercise. And, Psh, unfortunately, yeah, not everyone is a good candidate for liposuction. To be a good candidate, one must usually be over 18 years old, in good general health, be within 30% of their ideal weight, and have made an honest attempt at losing weight through dieting and exercise with little success. Luckily, our patient is not only a great candidate for liposuction, but she doesn't smoke, which oh, will greatly speed up the recovery process. Now that we've covered the basics, let's scrub in. The first thing we need to do is mark the target area. This provides our patient and ourselves with a clear idea of where we'll be removing fat deposits. Why don't you give it a shot? Yay, I get a pen. This is what all my years as a doctor has led up to. I finally got the pen. All right, so I got to trace the target area on the abdomen and then continue when done. That looks great. Oh, now we need to take it. photos of okay. our patient so she can see the before and after results. Go ahead and take one picture of the front of the patient's abdomen and one picture of the side. Take Picture. Next, we'll have our patient Ooh, turn to the side, so you can take the Kodak second picture. Camera. Nice composition. Yay! Our patient has been prepped and is now in the operating room. Uh, the next step is to numb the incision old. points that we're going to use to extract the fat deposits. <laughs> Give it a try. You're stabbing her with needles now? She just wants to lose weight. Oh, I missed. But they don't care. That is kind of gross. With the incision points numbed, we're going to inject the tumescent fluid using an infiltration cannula to anesthetize the target areas and dislodge the fat deposits, making it easier to suck them out. Let's just stab Go it. ahead and take a stab at it. Literally, <laughs> take a stab at it. Oh, what is this? Wait, click each incision point to inject the fluid. Are we drilling into her? Jesus Christ. Never mind. I'm not getting liposuction. I don't want to get drilled into it anymore. That is not a sexual thing. Come on. I'm clicking it. Why is it going so far inside of her? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. She's turning into a balloon. What is next on the torturer's job? Excellent job. Now that we've injected the tumescent fluid, let's begin the liposuction. All right. Use the suction cannula to remove the fat deposits from the patient. This is all fat? They look like mandarins or lemon heads. <laughs> but okay. Wait, what am I? Click each fat cluster to remove it. Oh, I'm just sucking it up like that? It's not that hard. This doesn't seem that dangerous. 
uh, besides the stabbing part, I would probably do this. Come on, fat cluster, get over here. I want to eat all of you. Alright, next. Suck up all that fat, cause I'm the fat fairy, and I drink your fat. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Get on out of there. Okay, the last fat. And then it's all muscle. I feel like that'd be dangerous to be all muscle. What do I know? I'm just a doctor, right? All done. She ain't fat no more. You're a natural. Have you ever considered a career in the medical field? Well, I sure have. Now that we've completed the liposuction on oh our patient, God, it's time dying. for recovery. Why is she standing? We're not going to suture the incisions. Since they were so small, they can heal without sutures. All right. Our patient will need to wear a compression garment for two to six weeks. Okay. This garment holds the tissues together, controls swelling, and provides additional support as her body heals. All right. She should be able to return to normal activity within a few weeks, and oh, there will still be some bruising nice, that man. should fade within a few days. Any swelling that our patient has Don't may take a little Donald's while longer to subside. Gain all that fat back the final the result day. of the liposuction will be evident in about one to three months after the surgery, Sweet. although they will see a noticeable difference within days or weeks. Nice. Although the suctioned fat deposits are gone, if the patient does Rihanna? not maintain a proper diet and Why's exercise Rihanna regimen, cooking? the remaining fat deposits could enlarge, creating irregularities in the Where's patient's abdomen. And that's that abdominal helps. liposuction. You've done a fantastic job. Why not try your surgical skills in another great surgery? Here at SurgerySquad.com. Oh, I'm not doing that. Hell to the no, I'm not doing childbirth. Uh, okay, I have enough time to do one more surgery. Let's look around. Let's take out some tonsillectomy. I want to see what this is. Uh, because I almost had my tonsils taken now. Oh, what the frick are you? I had tonsillitis, which almost meant I had to get these taken out. So I would have had this surgery. I want to see what it's going to be like. But now I'm kind of thinking I don't want to see it. But let's just go anyways. <laughs> Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Tonsillectomy Surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff. Today Hello, we'll Dr. be removing Jeff. a young man's tonsils. All right. This is a common operation that's performed when a patient suffers from frequent bouts of tonsillitis. It's yes. most often performed on younger patients, but adults can need it as well. Mm -hmm. The tonsils are located at the back of your throat on either side of the uvula. Uh. That's the little punching bag thingy that hangs down in the middle. Your tonsils are infection fighters, terms. but occasionally they lose the fight and get infected bag. themselves. They become oh, red gross. and enlarged and can sometimes make it hard to breathe and swallow. Normally yeah, we treat this with antibiotics, but when tonsillitis reoccurs frequently, we remove them because the infection can cause more serious damage. Our patient right. was given a sedative before being brought into the Your operating room, and the anesthesiologist so will help put him completely I'm under. Call you Kevin. Help me out and place a breathing tube in our patient's nose to assist with breathing while we operate. All right, Kevin. We need to get our I'm patient's mouth open wide so we have room to work. To do that, we'll use a special mouth gag retractor that opens the mouth, depresses the tongue, that and locks into position. Sounds bad. Why Great job. There. That should give us plenty of room. Sweet. Now we have to reach in and grab the infected tonsil oh, with Jesus. the tonsil forceps. We need to pull it to We're the side to expose it? the connective tissue. Can you do that for me? Nicely done. Oh, oh, with the tonsil extended out, we need to place this electrocautery device at the tonsil's base. We're gonna burn the device it. uses high frequency current to cut away tissue and seal off. By removing the tonsils oh, this way, oh, we reduce oh, bleeding and allow Jesus. the patient to heal faster. That's got to Now that the tonsil has been cauterized, we reach in with a tonsil there? guillotine clamp. The clamp severs the last of the connective tissue oh, and allows no. us to hell remove the no. tonsil from the throat. Clamp oh, the tonsil and pull it out. Oh, oh, Jesus we'll bring Christ. the electrocautery device back in He's here bleeding. and apply it to any bleeding areas. No need for a bleed. 
because this part of the throat heals quickly. We won't need any stitches. All right, good. Yeah, that Now we repeat our steps on the other side of the there. throat. Extend the other tonsil with the tonsil forceps. All right. Just like the other side, we'll cauterize ah. this tonsil to release it while keeping blood loss to... This is very gross, and I do not like this. And finally, we need to remove the tonsil. All right. Oh, I hate that thing. Oh. And God. don't forget those bleeders. My mum. Click, click you, click you. Click you, click you. All right. I'll clean out done? the mouth with some Ooh. irrigation and suction, and then now we're, we're all done. Them? I love how those things feel. I know it's weird. We'll but send I do. our patient to recovery for eight to ten hours, Don't worry, Kevin. and more than likely, you'll be able to go home later today. You're welcome, Once he's sent buddy. home, our patient will be you. put on a course of antibiotics. He'll need to keep hydrated with cold water or sports drinks. And if he gets hungry, he can have cool, soft foods like oh, fruit pops, sweet. gelatin, sherbet, pudding, and, of course, ice, ice cream. Mmm, getting I mean, a little hungry? Yeah. Thanks for stopping by SurgerySquad.com. While you're here, check out some of my other spectacular surgeries. They'll always stand the test of time, unlike my hairline. <laughs> Anyways, that was completely disgusting. But it was a lot of fun. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed me playing the game as much as I did. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, my name is Zach, and welcome to Sanitarium. And that guy is making spaghetti with his face. Okay. All right. You just keep doing you, and I'll do me. At least this one looks friendly uh, enough to talk hard. to. Can I ask you something? Oh, what is wrong Can with I my ask face? your name? The, the, the son. I haven't heard you before. Who? Wait, that's who are a you? guy? I wish I knew. I, I can't. Hey, you're a little close to edge. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> my God.